it's Miss Lane, it's me here back with another video. And today we're going to be doing the reloading British Slayer 3. So, first off, grab your case. Already shot oh, a dent in the primer. Take your bullet seating tool in the capping chamber. Put your capping chamber down. Put your bullet in the decapping chamber. Grab your primer popper. Pop it in. And then hit it with a mallet a couple times. Check if your case is pretty primed, and to do that, with any timing hole, if there is two flash holes, it is pretty damn primed, and to fix that, you just take a drill bit to it. Clean it out with the acetone or your primer topper. Doesn't have to be the best. When I handed it off, that's just so we can size it for my weapon. Put it in the bullet cedar, yeah. Put it in there. Give it a couple of flaps with the hand. That size is the neck of your 303. Make sure it's level, which in this case it is. Grab your bullet rod. And just smack it out. Once it is out, you can grab a primer. I'm using the CCI Large Rifle Primers number 200. Take your primer locator ring. Put your primer in, take your bullet, put it in your neck sizer, and put that top the primer. I'm putting my glasses on for this part. With your glasses. Put your rod down in there. Straight, straight enough? Yeah, straight enough. Pop it out. This is your blank. Which you can fire if you choose to. But in this case, it's going to be getting fired, so. This has to be flush. We're going to want to put a bullet head in there. <clears throat> and then you want to grab your powdering of choice. I am using the IMR 3031. Consult your handbook for the correct grain, which in this case I need to use 2.8 cc's of powder. Put it in the opposite end of your seating tool. Wait, no. put it in the next sizing hole. Put it in your depriving chamber. And then fill your thing up with the allotted amount of gunpowder. She's a little light, but it'll do. Make sure the gunpowder is safe, which DVD's got for me. Take your bullet head, which in this case I am using 303 caliber 3.11 diameter 
150 grain spitzers from Sierra. Take your bullet seeding device, put them in there, and give it a couple of smacks till it is seated. Check your overall length, which should not exceed 3.075. Inches. Mine is 3.1. Since that's way over, I'm going to have to put it back in. Smack with an actual hammer this time. And now it is. 3.021 inches, which is 76.97 millimeters. Once you have that done, your bullet is all loaded, but here's what you don't want to do. Make a casing. Your case sizes are too short. This is the one DAD did, and well, the bullet just pops right out. Another one we did, we did a hair fit better. Then not we. Me. Him. Not no. M.E.'s. Me. And that's the one I did. Yes. It doesn't pop out. Yeah, that's that's bad. That's bad. And here's one that doesn't have anything in it, which I did pretty dang well on. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you then.